All right, guys. So test driving code online, really, really hard, especially for beginners. Uh, so that's why we made Interactive Markdown. So Interactive Markdown basically takes the code that you see every single day and brings it to life. So right now I'm on GitHub, and I see you know, a JavaScript element, HTML element. All I got to do is click into the snippet, and suddenly it's hackable and editable. But what about languages that don't natively run in the browser? Well, we got that too. So we also support Python and Ruby. Um, and they're just as easy as JavaScript and HTML. Um, but you know, jumping across the language barrier is cool. But you know, let's jump even further. Let's jump across operating systems, maybe across devices straight into Android, you know, the world's most developer-friendly environment ever. Um, and so to be real, Android applications really, really hard to set up. So maybe we make it super easy. You just click a button, and suddenly that Android environment is straight in your browser. You know, no plugins fully featured, ready to go. Um, so all this takes is some DigitalOcean, Docker, CoreOS. We got some clusters up, and to extend it, we just create some more Docker files, and suddenly we can you know, get any environment. Um, so thanks. It's open source. 